adding the login area. It is always better to organize your code. And the concept of areas in MVC is a great concept for achieving this objective. Since login is just one part of the application, we should not uh, mix it with the entire application. Normally what we see on website says that the entry page displays some things and then a small login is there at the top or a dedicated login, login page is there. So instead of putting the login into the index or home page, it should be put into a separate area. So that the code remains separate and is easy to understand and maintenance becomes easy as a result. We'll add the login area right now. Let us do so. This is our solution explorer. I'm pinning it off. This is what we have at present. Right click, add area. We'll call it login area. Click add. This is the tree that is created for you. Areas, login area, it has its own set of controllers, models, views and uh, there is a login area registration CS file also. I'll first of all fold it back. A new folder called areas has been added for you and inside this areas folder there is one area called login area. It has its controllers folder, models folder, views folder and one file login area registration. Double click this file. So it is this file. I'll just fold it this way. It is this file that is available to you and there is a default action called index and the root is login area by controller by action by id. This area is registered inside app underscore start in the root config. No, it should be in global. It is inside the global dot asx file. Area registration dot register all areas. So it does take into account the areas that you have added. And uh, these folder names are standard so that it can easily pick up from the basis of the files contained inside this. It will do proper registration for all the areas. So now coming back to our login area. Let us first of all add a controller. We'll add a controller for create user. Or we can call it uh, user controller. That will be better name. Add controller. user controller click add and we have got an index here so we'll create go add view click add and we'll call it the login So we have already our login page, a user controller. I'll close the files that are not required at present. So if you want to look at it, we added an area called login area. And inside we added a user controller. And a view has been added for the index.cshtml. So how to reach this one? That is one of the issues. For that what we'll do is we'll ri uh, right click the outer controller add home controller as usual add controller home controller as usual and there is a view click click here add view as usual and click add. 
the remaining story can proceed as usual. Here what I'll write is a or you can write at the rate html dot action link action link will be displayed as link text will be login action name action name is index root values I have to put area what is the area area is login area and controller controller is user controller you can have a look at it here this is the login area which is specified as area controller is user controller and action link is index uh, login will be displayed and index is the name of the action inside this area and further inside that controller now let us run it to see whether we reach our login page or not so somewhere a login link is there alternatives are possible you can directly place text boxes on this but I am deliberately telling you the concept of areas also so that in case you want to put the use the areas concept then you can make use of a simple login link button click it and let us see what is the title bar showing title bar shows login area by user so all our login things will remain in the login area now further let we'll next create the create user link here on this page or uh, we can start by uh, typing in the login story table tr td username we'll need that model at the top at the rate model putting the proper namespaces model mvc login dot entity dot tbl user so here I can write at the rate HTML dot text box for x goes to x dot user email and simultaneously I can write at the rate HTML dot validation message for x goes to x dot user email I can write a similar TR for the phone also copying and dot phone dot phone and in the last TR we can write TD call span is equal to 2 style is equal to align input type is equal to submit this whole thing should be put in at the rate using this curly brace comes here this ends here format it and uh, just towards the bottom we can write 
एट द रेट एच टी एम एल डॉट एक्शन लिंक न्यू यूजर क्वेश्चन मार्क एक्शन नेम वी आर टू येट एट दैट एक्शन वील एट दैट एक्शन इन साइड दिस एंड वील कॉल दैट एक्शन न्यू यूजर I am just typing that action here so that we can later on start to work from here. Action result new user return view. So the action name will be new user, and I can put a pipe around it. forgot password similarly i can write i'll come to this and add another action for forgot password now let me run it uh i'll have to add them add the view for new user add view click on add let us run it and see whether it works till now click on login it takes us to that username user phone click on new user yes it brings us so we'll stop here and in our next lecture we'll try to fill this one first so that a user is created first closing it right now thanks